Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to get um, Reaper to work with Rocksmith. So you can use uh, any plugins that you want. Like, for example, I have Neural DSP. I bought the John Petrucci uh, Neural DSP archetype, or however you say it. And uh, I can use um, like those tones while also uh, uh, streaming Rocksmith. Uh, it's kind of a convoluted process, so uh, just try to stick with me as best as you can. And if you have any questions, feel free to put them down in the comments below, or you can message me. I'll put my Discord down below as well. But uh, our first step is going to be uh, navigating to your Rocksmith folder, and we're just going to write down uh, a, your current setup, so that way you have a backup just in case anything messes up. So what you're going to want to do first off is uh, find out where your Rocksmith is located so you can look at all these files. So uh, a way you can do this is you just right click on Rocksmith, you go to Properties, Local Files, Browse, and it should pop up. Um, what you're going to want to be looking at is the um, Rocksmith, da, 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 rocksmith.ini. Right, and you're gonna take a screenshot of this. So usually what I do is I get the snipping tool, or you could just copy and paste this into a Word document and just save it. But uh, I just uh, take a screenshot, copy it, I paste it into Discord, and uh, I just have it there as a uh, recording. So you're gonna wanna record that, and also your uh, Rocksmith ASIO. You're gonna wanna just record that so you have a backup. Um, that, that is a good uh, little backup if you fuck something up and you need to go back to uh, what your uh, last setup was. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make sure all of our devices are set to the same uh, buffer. Right? Buffer size? Uh, the same uh, refresh rate. I forget what it's called specifically, but um, I'm using... Um, Focusrite, Scarlet Focusrite, and uh, I'm using both channels actually, so my left channel is my microphone, and my right channel is my, my instrument. So since I'm using both channels, I have to enable two channel. So this splits it uh, left and right, left being my mic, right being my instrument. Um, I always set everything to 48,000 uh, hertz. So two channel, 24 bit, 48,000 hertz, and I give applications take exclusive control that's fine and then my playback I use banana meter or banana meter voice meter banana um, that's also set to 24 bit 48,000 Hertz so now that those are set at 40,000 Hertz you come down here and make sure your audio interface is set to the same thing as well and go ahead and set your buffer size to uh, 192 that works for me you might have to play around with it, but usually for uh, people that I've helped, uh, one, 192 has worked for them. So just make sure that's, that's like that. And now what we're going to want to do is uh, we're going to want to uh, go into our rocksmith.ini files and change some things. So... Uh, you shouldn't have to change anything in INI except for exclusive mode you have to enable and latency buffer I don't think that really matters but mainly yeah what you want to change is this max output buffer size to 192 um, feel free to copy my settings and then we go to the rsasio.ini and this is where you change like most of your stuff so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to in the uh, first of all, yeah, change this custom buffer size to 192. Make sure it says custom at the top. Uh, this should be pretty similar uh, to what you're seeing here. Like, you should make your your settings like they are in here. Uh, you're going to want to put in your ASIO output, RIA route ASIO. I'll uh, copy this in the description. So you can just literally control C, control V. Um, so... I don't have it on input zero because that is the first most um, input. Uh, computers, they use zero uh, as their first. So 
Zero is the left input for me, so I don't have anything there. Uh, I, ASIO input one is my right input. That is my instrument that I'm using, so I put rear route ASIO in there. And then for the ASIO input mic, you might as well just put uh, the same thing. And then make sure you just hit file and save. So now we should have it set up on the Rocksmith side. Your next step should be downloading Reaper. And if you already have Reaper downloaded, uh, just go ahead and re-download it because a lot of people miss this step. So you're going to want to download the 64-bit version. Uh, I've had weird problems where uh, plugins won't work with the 32-bit version. Like, uh, I had someone that I was helping that they had uh, a plugin and it just wouldn't show up. So the, the to solve that, we just change it to Windows 64-bit. So if you already have it downloaded, it's fine. You can just hit download again. Again, I'll paste this in the description. So yeah, you just... Let's just put that on my desktop. Oh, it's already on my desktop. All right, so when it's when it's done, you just click on it. Just say, I agree, next. And then when you get to this screen right here, uh, click the plus button and make sure uh, all of these are selected. Reroute ASIO driver, you know, and then configure Windows to save Reaper crash jumps. Um, the rear route ASIO drivers is mainly what you want. Uh, a lot of people don't see this. I didn't see this when I first started. Uh, but yeah, install this and then Reaper should open. I'll just go ahead and open Reaper. The first thing you're gonna wanna do when you open Reaper is uh, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have your uh, correct drivers uh, for the default device settings. So. You're, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit Options, uh, Preferences, and you're going to want to scroll down to Device, and just make sure this is ASIO, Focusrite, USB ASIO, and that this is uh, enabled first, input 1, input 2, you know. Make sure this is 48,000, make sure this is uh, 192. So what you're going to want to do is, uh, first of all, make two new tracks. And so, uh, if, if you, oh, there's my audio twice. So that's just going to use my mic. Let me go ahead and change this. There we go. Okay. So to briefly explain this, uh, in order to hear this, you need to have this button pressed. Um, this arms the track so you can actually hear it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is probably name this like, you know, Rocksmith, like this is the audio that you're going to get from Rocksmith, and then probably name this one on my mic. We'll just put it to that for right now, but name that one Guitar. And uh, what you're going to want to do is make sure that this, like whatever you have set your guitar, is which channel you have it. So mine would be, uh, this one you're going to want to put mono as well. Mono, input two because that's my right. Um, for Rocksmith, I'm pretty sure you want to put input, stereo, and let me actually double check real quick. Yeah, Rocksmith, you want this to be stereo, uh, rear route one and two. And then you're going to want to put your guitar to mono, uh, whichever input jack is on your um, uh, on your interface. So that would be number two. So actually, let me do a little test real quick. So I am getting a level. I'm just touching my uh, my instrument cable. So that is working. So now what you're going to want to do is uh, you're going to want to come down here to the bottom left. And you're gonna want to make sure you uh, click this little this little route button. It's got like a green stripe on it. And you're gonna want to go to add new hardware output. And then you're gonna want to put uh, Rocksmith as rear route three and four. And that's fine. That should be it for that one. For guitar, you're going to want to put 
Oh, sorry. Come down here to the uh, the route button with the, the green stripe. Hit that. And you're going to want to click Master Send. You're going to want to uncheck that. You don't want that. Um, and then you're going to want to put this to uh, Rear Route 1 and 2. That should be fine. And that should be kind of like all set up for uh, for the Reaper side. And so now we're going to head over to uh, OBS. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download uh, this OBS ASIO. Um, it'll be linked in the description, uh, of course. But uh, install this. So once you download this, you are going to just put it somewhere. And then once it's done, just click it. It should open uh, something like this. Next, I agree. And you're gonna wanna choose the install to be wherever your OBS is. And then you're just gonna wanna hit install. And that should set it up. And um, what you're gonna wanna probably do real quick is uh, when you're done installing this, maybe do a restart. Um, that, that has usually, uh, people that I've helped have usually had problems and then like restarting it would just fix it magically. So I suggest a restart after installing all of this. Uh, if you come back to the video at this point, uh, I'm gonna open OBS. This is gonna be weird because I'm gonna capture OBS. Okay, so what you're now gonna wanna do is click uh, add a source, and then you're going to want to uh, click ASIO input capture. So this will pop up, and you're going to want to, you know, name it like Reaper or something. And then it'll pop up with the uh, properties. It'll probably be selected to nothing, so what you're going to want to do is uh, select reroute ASIO 64. Set it to stereo, and you're going to want to set the channels to uh, 3 and 4. And this part is especially crucial. This is, I don't know why, yeah, see, it even changed for me. So this changes every time I restart my computer. So the settings that I find that work with this are 32. Quick editor's note, um, I accidentally put 129 instead of 192. So just keep that in mind, put that to uh, 192, not 129, specifically in this order. Um, sometimes you'll have Rocksmith just be really crackly with OBS open. But if you ever have, um, crackling issues, just make sure that that is 32192. And then if it's still crackling, restart your computer. And then make sure that the numbers are correct again, and then try, uh, starting Rocksmith. And keep in mind, you have to have Reaper open with these two things right here. Um, you have to have Reaper open with these two things armed in order to be able to hear Rocksmith and your guitar. But, uh, you should see in Reaper, your, your Rocksmith is going to be like what you hear from Rocksmith and your guitar is going to be your input, your dry input from your guitar. So if you turn off your, if you turn off your guitar track, Rocksmith won't pick up anything. So if you want to have plugins... What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on your your guitar. You want to hit Control C and then Control V, you know, copy and paste it and name this one. What what song is this? Hold on. So, yeah, you're going to want to just copy it and then name it like plugins or something that's uh distinguishable from that. Then you're going to want to come down here to the plugins. And you're going to want to click Master Send. You're going to want to be able to hear this. So click click Master Send on. And then you're going to want to turn on Effects. And then just navigate wherever your things are. So there we go. Huh, that's weird. It's not picking up in... Oh, okay. Hold on. I know the problem. So, go back to the the route button again, 
And you're gonna wanna ch change this from one and two, reroute one and two, to reroute three and four. And that'll that'll route it uh, through the same channel as Rocksmith. So now you should be able to hear this guitar. Uh, and then if you wanna just change, you know, your, your stuff, I have some Wow, that is a lot of gain. Why did I make it so loud? But yeah, that's that's essentially how you get that working. And then essentially what you're going to want to do in Rocksmith is you're going to want to go to the mixer and you're going to want to turn down your guitar volume all the way. So essentially how we set this up is Rocksmith is still getting your dry input. So the game is still detecting your notes, but you just turn down the guitar all the way. So you don't hear double guitar. Like, like here we're hearing double. So yeah, you just turn off your guitar. So now you should be able to play the game uh, normally if it's being captured in OBS. Obviously, uh, you can, you know, turn up the full volume. Uh, you can mess with the volume over here, or you can turn this down, turn Rocksmith up. We'll turn it up just a little bit. Maybe like plus 4 dB. But as you can see, it is uh, detecting the nose perfectly fine. And you're using a custom tone. So I hope you enjoyed. And if you have any questions, please feel free to message me over Discord or to leave a comment on this YouTube video.